Hello everyone, my name is Arbitrage with Amber and today I will be showing you how to run promotions on Facebook Marketplace. So this video is through using the web version. I may later make an app version of this. If you want to see that, leave a comment, let me know. But here I am on Facebook. I'm in the Marketplace tab, as you can see here. And I am going to go over to selling on the left hand side of the screen. And that then brings up some more tabs for me. So here I'm going to go to promotions. Makes sense, right? Um, and here you can see the past promotions that I've had. Um, so for Super Bowl Sunday, I did 20% off on nearly 400 items. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I decided I had a lot of hoodies. And so I ran 20% off on 30 of those. My birthday, 25% off because I turned 25. Um, so you can see I, I do run these quite often, um, just depending on what is going on. Um, so in order to create a promotion, we're obviously going to go to the create button up here. And over on the left hand side, we're going to name our promotion. Um, so I'm going to call this YouTube because I'm making the video now and then promotion type. So there are a couple that we can do here. We can do a dollar off promotion. Um, and with that, a promotion can't be applied to a listing if it equals more than 30% of the original price. So if I go here and I say I want to do $15 off, it is going to immediately reorganize my listings and is only going to show me items where 15% is no more than 30% of the original price. So let's say I'm doing that. Um, so starting date, I want it to start right now. End date, we will pick when we want it to end. I prefer to only have my promotions run for two days at max most of the time, um, because when you create a promotion underneath the item, it will say sale ends in X amount of hours, X amount of minutes. And that really drives the urgency for people to buy your item quickly instead of waiting. So here I'm going to say my end date is tomorrow. We just want to make this really short and quick. And then you can choose what time it ends. So let's say I want to ha have all of this bought so that I can ship it before Friday is over. Um, so let's say 2.30 p.m. That gives me time to get everything together so that I can ship it out. So then we can choose what we want. So let's say this athletic coat's been sitting for a while. I'll list that for $15 off. This All Saints vest, give that $15 off. This Patagonia, um, yeah, let's say, I'm just gonna keep it short and sweet for now. So let's create that promotion. Well, let me rename this real quick because I'm gonna do a couple for you. So this will be my $15 off promotion. I just want it on those items, create promotion. So then we are back on this page, promotions, and we can see that $15 off is on three listings. So let's create a promotion now using the percentage off. Um, and let's do 20% off. And so we choose the percent off option, percent discount. I decided that I want to do 20. And just for making this easy, we will also make this one end. Um, tomorrow afternoon. So um, there are a couple different things here that I also wanted to point out. You can toggle this to apply this to all listings. Um, so I could immediately do that and everything would get this discount. If I try to enter a discount of, oh, they changed this. So before the maximum discount you could offer was 30% off. Um, but I just entered 35 an hour. What if I do 50% off? It will let me do that. Okay, this opens up some options. If you're really trying to clear out inventory, jack this number up as high as you can, as high as you want it to go. Um, for the video, I'm just going to show 20% off. And so, of course, you can also click this. You can also search your items if, say, I just want to do 20% off Patagonia stuff. Um, so I search up here, and it brings up all of the things that I have. If I say to myself, well, this has been sitting for a while. This one is already in the other promotion, so I'm not going to do that. I have this dress, um, these tank tops, and this vest has been sitting for a while. Um, 
Okay, so I have a bunch of Patagonia items and let's say I wanna do North Face as well. Let's see here. Um, I guess I could do this coat, this hoodie and this hat. Set. Okay, so I've got a few things now. They've all been selected. As I went back here, you can see that these are now still selected. So I'm going to click create promotion. And then these items get 20% off. So YouTube 20% off, I selected eight items. Let me do one final one showing the free shipping, um, which I actually never used before. So then I can select free shipping here and select my end date. You can also make this start later if you want. So say you want a sale for your birthday, your birthday's tomorrow, but you don't wanna wait up until midnight to start this, you can pick a time in the future. So let's say I don't want this to start until 6.30. Then it will automatically start at that time and you can select your end time as well. So free shipping. Maybe I'm thinking to myself, well, I don't wanna choose anything that's too heavy. So let me search for tank top uh, because I know these are gonna be light. It's gonna be like the lightest, um, the lowest shipping rate there is. Let's choose this Zaya tank that's been sitting for a while. But you can see some of these tank tops. Um, some of this is personal stuff that I listed very well. If I have a $6 tank top and I offer free shipping on that and shipping is $4 right now, I believe in this price category, I am only gonna be getting $2. Um, so also, you know, you can choose what you want. This Harley Davidson tank top, I've had that for a while. If I pay $4 out of 30, I'm fine with that. Spiritual Gangster, that's been sitting. These are some higher priced tank tops. Um, oh, this Harley top has been sitting a while. Okay, so I have a few things selected. I'm going to create the promotion. So now I want to show a couple different things. Oh, upcoming. It is down here because I scheduled it for the future. So now I'm going to go to my listings and I'm going to pull up a item that I listed for sale. So let me pull up a Patagonia and I'm going to click on the listing here. And I just want to view the listing. So here we have over here, it says $32. It crossed out the $40 price. So buyers know they're getting a deal. Buyers get 20% off on this item until February 18th. Um, the app version may show this a little bit differently with the countdown, like I said, unless that is something they recently just changed to. Um, but you can see that there. So let me now go back to my promotions. Um, and let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna change some of these. So I'm gonna click on the listing to go back into it. Um, I can either end it early here or I can edit the promotion and you can do various things. So if you hit edit promotion, let's say I also want 20% off of this sweatshirt as well. I can add that in and then edit and save it. Um, let's say I changed my mind. I said, no, I, I made a mistake. I didn't want this item to be included. I can uncheck it. I can change the time that it ends. If I want to extend this, give them you know, a couple hours post, oh, I've extended my sale. Um, and then click edit promotion and it takes you back. So now it's only on seven listings. Didn't I uncheck this? Whoops. Okay, actually, let me close out of this and see if I reopen it. Okay, yes, so now it's gone, the thing that I unchecked. Um, so you do have to like refresh it and exit out. So then let me look at this one. Let me think, you know, $15 off. I actually don't like that. I don't want to do a sale anymore. I can click here to end it early. It takes me back here. I'm going to refresh the page. And then it moves to the past section, YouTube $15 off. And I can also edit my upcoming one. I actually don't want this at all. <laughs> so I can delete it here. Takes me back to the screen. Again, you have to refresh or maybe your laptop is better than mine. But here you can see that it is done now. It's not even moved to the past. It's just deleted completely. So anything that you sell through a promotion, it will show up in your shipping orders just like normal. 
um, and you get that shipping label and ship it out. So this is something that I use pretty often. I love doing this on stale inventory. And as you can see, you don't have to pick all of your items. So <laughs> sometimes no one, no one sees the name. So just name them whatever you want. I named this one YooHoo Big Summer Blowout, 300 items, 340 items. Um, you don't have to pick everything, 200 items. I didn't want everything on sale here because I knew a lot of stuff would be selling anyways uh, for Small Business Saturday. Personally, I don't ever really put promotions on my most recently listed items because they still have a good chance of selling for full price. Um, so I do stuff, I do promotions only on items that I've listed more than a couple weeks ago, more than a month ago. Um, but it is a great way to move out some inventory. So if you have any other questions on promotions, feel free to comment them below or reach out to me on Instagram. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you all for watching.